Hey guys, what's up? This is B coming in from GNA today. So just a quick video about the Taurus TX-22. Uh, this issue has been known about for a while. I really haven't talked about it. Um, of course, I didn't know about it until way later after I had this and after I've done my review on it and everything. But on the very first uh, Taurus TX-22s that were made, there was some defects with the barrels. And some were more pronounced than others. In mine, it, it you can see it for sure. Um, and what happens is as you, and it's really hard to, to video it. I, I do have another little video I'll put, probably put right here, but as you look down the barrel, you can see that the rifling is not centered in, in the bore, which, which is weird. But, um, the way you can tell that is some of the rifling stands up a little bit higher. And then on the other side, it's not sticking up near as much. And you can just tell that it's not that the, the rifling was not cut, you know, directly in the in the middle of the bore it was the rifling was cut off center a little bit and it kind of it you know it shifted it to to being off a little bit and then on top of that there's some uh in those kind of earlier barrels there's a lot of chatter marks in in the rifling so um anyways mine mine definitely has the chatter marks pretty bad it has the, the rifling that's not centered in the bore and so i just called taurus up and i just told them you know i gave them the serial number and i guess from that they could tell that mine is a is a very very early one it's got to be I, I bought it as soon as they were available so mine has to be a very early one and i i guess it's within some serial range number i don't know what the serial range number is but based off of that no questions asked she said okay the barrels are on back order right now we'll get them sent out um, as soon as we come in and she made it sound like it'd be the next week which was definitely not the case um i don't even know how long ago i guess i should go back and look i may put a annotation up here today's december 16th 2019 and i just got my replacement barrel in it's probably been two or three months I don't know. i'll put an annotation up here of how long it took but the barrel just came in just a simple little package like this just showed up on my doorstep so if you ordered one be watching for it um, it'll probably be there pretty soon so let me show you some differences real quick between these barrels so here's the original barrel and here's the new barrel and i'm just going to show you a few little differences i've i've seen really quick so on the font style they used to to you know put the 22LR in there, uh, you can see this this bottom one's a new one. You can tell the old one is dirty still. So there's a different font um, on this side. There is there's this little mark here. I don't know if that means one or what, but there's a little mark here on this original one. That little mark is not there. Out here on the muzzle. On the original one, there's a little bit deeper crown that's cut into it than on this new one. And, um, oh yeah, then one other thing that I noticed, I was trying to trying to find some kind of clues of maybe if this is from a different manufacturer. And as I look, let me see if I can get really close here. This lens should be able to do it. But here, if you can see kind of the finish on this, and the finish on this, you can see there's like tooling marks on this new barrel, where on this one... I mean, it's got the bluing or whatever, but it's it's pretty smooth. So, I mean, I don't know. It looks like probably it was, you know, two different companies that made this, but I can't say that for sure. But there, like I said, there are several differences here. So, I noticed it. I, I didn't know the I didn't know about the problem existing really until I saw guys mentioning it on uh, TaurusArm.net. I think is the name of the forum. But there was one time um, after I'd shot this for a little bit. That I went to clean the barrel out, and it was just caked with lead. I mean, and I think I've got a picture. I'm going to try to find that because whenever I cleaned that out, I thought this is not normal. Um, but then uh, I didn't. I didn't really think to look. Well, I, I mean, I know I looked at the rifling. I just didn't look at it that close. But anyways, I'm going to try to find that picture and show that where I cleaned this barrel out the first time, and it was just like, just it was in, it was just crazy. But the reason I thought it was doing that is because I was running it suppressed and I just thought it was just so much of the back pressure pushing all that back in that that that's what it was so in my mind the suppressor was was what was causing that but it's it was the rifling in here that's just kept with all those chatter marks just catching that lead and allowing it just to get that barrel to be really really nasty so anyways um, just to let you know that if you if you haven't heard of this issue if you have an early early TX-22 that you got, you may just want to call toward it, and you may want to try to look in your barrel and see if it looks like it's it's kind of messed up like that, and just give Taurus a call. They were pretty easy about sending this out. I mean, they didn't even ask me to send this back. They just 
they just sent this one out so okay but but even with that problem and i know that's definitely an oversight on taurus's part but even with that i'm still happy with this handgun it is just it's just so good and especially for the price uh, it's just it's just hard to beat for me. It took a little while, but I mean, no questions asked. They sent it out. Don't have to send the other one back. Makes me pretty happy. I mean, I'm good with that. Although, we'll see how this shoots. I haven't shot it yet. Um, with this one, I never could get great groups. I mean, I could shoot okay with it, but not great groups. So I need to take this out and shoot with it, and we'll see what happens with it. Okay, so I recorded that other video and I edited it and everything. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that whole thing play. I'm just gonna put this at the end, but. <laughs> Okay, so we got a problem. All right, here's the original barrel, and it'll slip right on. Okay, so that's the original one, it goes right in. And I haven't looked online to see if anybody's gotten a replacement barrel, see if anybody's had the same problem, but this barrel is out of spec. It will not slip in place. It simply will not go in. It's too wide in some dimension. I think I found a couple places where it could be at. Um, and I mean, it's, it's even right here, because right here, on the original one, I could take it and it would slip, slip in there like that. On this one, when I try to slip it in like that, it gets stuck right there. It just will not slide in there. So I think it's in this inner channel. I think that's a little bit too wide, but I think I found the main problem. Okay, and so on the original one, whenever I measured the width of this little piece right here, 0 .655, 0 .0655. And on this one, when I measure that same place, it's 0 .68, it's 0 .69, so it's, yeah. I think that's the main dimension that it's wrong in, is the width of this little piece right here. So, <laughs> I don't know. Taurus back, but anyways, that's a no-go. Anyways, this will be coming from GNA today. Thanks for watching.